We are now coming into the center of the old town, the egg market. Also on the left, we can see the Catholic Church of St. Nicholas, built around 1266, and which was presented to the Carmelite monks in 1251. Here we can see the memorial to Michel Moore, who saved the Duke of Sponheim's life in the Battle of Sprendingen in 1279. That is the Dippermarkt, which means a market for pots and pans. Now we are passing the fish market. In the background, on the right, there used to be the Jewish quarter. On the right, there is the council house. On the left, the old house of Dr. Faustus. We are now passing the fish towers. The fishers guild was important due to the large numbers of fish in the river. On the left, we can see the St. Marienwerth Hospital, and in front of it, a chapel and a helicopter port. Here is Mühlenstrasse, which, as the name suggests, uh, used to be where there was a mill. Bad Kreuznach bought two buildings from the mill owners, converted them to a youth centre at a cost of 2.6 million euros. In the house on the corner, flour used to be weighed into bags. There are also parts of the old town wall dating back to 1247. Today, no corn is ground there, but the turbines in there produce electricity. We are now coming to the Kirstein Park, and in the background, uh, on the left, there is little Venice, with the Ellebach flowing into the Naha River. And next to that, on the left, there is the pink stone memorial to the Jewish persecuted under Hitler. On the left, there is a stone memorial in the car park. There used to be a synagogue here which was later destroyed in the 1930s. We are now coming to the town centre and we're in the corn market where there is a grocery market twice a week. Here is the main pedestrian area, the Mannheimer Straße. And here we can see a modern fountain with statues of famous citizens of Bad Kreuznach. In the background we can see the Blücher Haus, built recently but following the old style. Marshal Blücher stayed here overnight after crossing the Rhine on his way to Waterloo. We are now crossing the mill pond by way of the old Naha Bridge, dating back to 1300. The houses on the bridge are a famous landmark of Bad Kreuznach. They were first mentioned in 1495. On the front of the Weinstube, you can see a cannonball fired by the Swedish army in 1632. On the right up there is the Kautzenberg. It was first mentioned in official documents in 1206, and it was the home of the Dukes of Sponheim. On the right, 
there is the Protestant Pauluskirche, which was consecrated as a basilica in 1332. The church was destroyed in the sack of the town in 1689. In 1781, the church was rebuilt as a Baroque church, and in 1843, Karl Marx married Miss von Westphalen. On the right, there is the statue of Dr. Johann Erhard Peter Prieger, the founder of the spa in Bad Kreuznach. The statue is the work of Karl Kauer. On the left, there is a monument to a painter and poet from Bad Kreuznach, who died in Rome, Friedrich Müller. We are now in Kurhausstrasse. This is the oldest avenue lined with sycamore in Germany. On the right is the house with the red roof, which was built by the Freemasons, and now is the tourist information center. Next door is the health center, and then the Krusinia baths, with its three thermal springs and freshwater pool. Between two small salinas, there is a spray unit, which is a great chance to inhale or breathe in the healing spray. And next door, there is a Knipe water treatment unit. Next to the hotel entrance, there is a stone commemorating the meeting between General de Gaulle and Konrad Adenauer. A few yards further on, there is a stone commemorating the American-German Friendship Treaty. Please don't get out until the train stops. I hope you enjoyed your trip and we would love to see you again sometime. Bye-bye.